Holder, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, General Curley, I want to go into our approach towards Iran in the region. Um, Thomas Friedman, a very astute observer in a New York Times piece entitled A Titanic Geopolitical Struggle is underway. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to put this in the record, this Thomas Friedman article. He says that today, while the U.S. is indirectly degrading Russia's capabilities through its proxy Ukraine, things are different in the Middle East. There, it is Iran that is sitting back comfortably, indirectly, at war with Israel, at war with the United States, at war with Saudi Arabia, by fighting through Tehran's proxies, Hamas in Gaza, the Houthis in Yemen, Hezbollah in Lebanon, Syria, and Shia Shia militias in Iraq. Iran is reaping all the benefits and paying virtually no cost for the work of its proxies, And the U.S., Israel, and their tacit Arab allies have not yet manifested the will or the way to pressure Iran back. Do you agree with that, General? I think Iran is using all of its proxies in the region. But are they paying no cost? I think they are not paying the cost. Okay. Well, let me get into some specifics. And one that I just cannot fathom we have not undertaken yet. Vice Admiral Brad Cooper, the former commander of the U.S. Fifth Fleet, now the deputy commander at CENTCOM, recently appeared on 60 Minutes when asked if the Houthis could execute these attacks against U.S. Navy vessels in the Red Sea and international shipping. Without Iran's support, he said, quote, no. Iranians have been supplying the Houthis, resupplying them. They are advising them, and they are providing them target information. This is crystal clear. So let me, let me go into that. This is, I've raised this with the Secretary of Defense, the Deputy Secretary, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs. We have the biggest terrorist group in the world providing targeting information on the USS Eisenhower, the Kearney. The Kearney shot down uh, three different missiles from the Houthis. Why are we not sinking those Iranian ships? If there's an Iranian spy ship providing targeting information to kill sailors from Alaska and North Dakota, why aren't we sinking those ships? By the way, isn't that part of your ROEs? You don't even have to, you don't even have to ask the president for that permission. Uh, that, that is not accurate, Senator, that I wouldn't have to ask the president to do that. Okay. That's not part of your ROEs, third-party targeting? You have third-party targeting Americans to kill them, and you don't have the authority to take that target out? Not on the uh, Iranian ships. Okay. Have you made a recommendation to take out and sink these Iranian ships that are targeting our sailors? I provide options, ranging everything from cyber to kinetic, um, and I also identify the risk of escalation and all of those options. Okay. Now, we always talk the risk of escalation. The Iranians are escalating on us. We have it backwards. I talked to the chairman about this. So it's not useful when you guys start by saying the risk of escalation. The Iranians are killing our service members. They're escalating. Hamas is escalating. I think we need to drop that talking point. In your personal opinion, do you think the best way to get the Houthis and the Iranians to stop shooting at American ships is to covertly or overtly announce that the next time you target an American ship, with an Iranian spy ship, we will sink that ship. In your personal opinion, what do you think that will do from a deterrent standpoint? Senator, I think there needs a whole of government approach. I know, but I'm asking about this on Iran. I'm, I'm going to get to the whole of government here. i got 50 seconds left. <laughs> on that issue, in your personal opinion, is that how you – you heard the ranking member talk about Operation Praying Mantis. Are you familiar with that operation? I'm very familiar with it. And so what is your personal opinion on getting the Houthis in Iran – to stop trying to kill our sailors. I had a meeting with the CNO recently. She mentioned that the Navy worries about one of these missiles slipping through. As do I. Okay. So how do we get them to stop doing it? It's obviously not working. There has to be cost imposition on Iran. And there hasn't and been. Thomas Friedman campaign. and all of us believe there's been no cost. I'm not blaming you, General. I'm sure you've had strong meetings where you say, of course we should sink these ships. They're targeting our sailors. But so I'm asking you, not what the advice you've given to the president. Remember, 
when you got confirmed here, we gave you a letter saying we can ask you in your personal opinion. You don't have to talk to about what you said to the president. What do you, as a 40-year general, decorated, knows about combat, what's your personal view on whether we should be sinking intel ships from Iran who are providing targeting information to the Houthi to kill American sailors and Marines? I think it's best if in, in a closed session I can talk you through the intelligence of what we know Iran is providing and the implications and what we can do about that. I think this is a scandal, and to me it's shocking, and I'm sure you probably in the closed session will tell me, of course you think we should sink their ships, but I just don't understand it. One final question. I've talked to the president directly and Jake Sullivan and their whole team about non-kinetic actions, like reimposing sanctions on the oil and gas regime of Iran. At the end of the Trump administration, the Iranians had $4 billion in foreign reserves. That's not a lot. Now they have about $75 billion because we lifted sanctions in essence. Have you recommended – and by the way, the president said he thought it was a good idea. He said, look, his national security advisor, talk to Senator Sullivan and the team on this. That was in December. We're not doing that. Have you recommended non-kinetic options like stronger sanctions against the Iranians in their oil and gas regime? My recommendations are military in nature, but I do recommend a whole-of-government approach for cost imposition on Iran. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.